In this video, I'm talking about how Robert Downey Jr. became Iron Man and how that's going to improve your business if you use the same strategy. If you never heard of this film before, it's called Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And Kiss Kiss Bang Bang was a film that Robert Downey was in many, many years ago, and it didn't do so well, and it kind of kind of flopped in the box office. But there was one person called John Faragi who saw that he was in that film, and he's like, oh my God, one day, wow, this guy could, could be in, in an action movie. And so why, why am I telling you this? Because that film that flopped, actually got him a, a calling card, as he said, into the Iron Man 1 movie. He was directed by John. Sometimes when we do things in life, we put videos, we put contents out there, but it doesn't, like we feel that, oh, it's not good enough, it's not great. But as long as we're doing our best in what we're doing, if we, if we, if we live at the best quality of life, we live with the best uh, motivation, we live the best action and practice that we take every single day, then it doesn't matter whether that thing is good or not. What matters is that we did our best. And so he did his best in that film. And actually, you know, it, I saw the trailer, it looked all right, but I can see how the director of the Iron Man 1 saw him could be actually Iron Man. You may be putting things out there and you're not getting any views, you're not getting any comments, you're not getting any likes, you're not getting any people sharing your content. And it almost seems like people are not watching your content, but this is what I call the ghost follower strategy. Ghost followers, they follow your content like they're your best raving fan. I call them ghost raving fans. That's what it is. Like when you look at that film, you know, no one, it didn't do so well, but one, one of those viewers can really make a massive impact to someone's life. And, and I'm going to show you a little, um, a little analogy here, right? So let's say you have all these people going across this road and, you know, they're seeing all this is what we call traffic. If you put your shop here, you at least have a chance of people being diverted into your shop. The problem is people, there's all this traffic right now and, and people don't want to put themselves out there. They don't, they don't want to make themselves known. They don't want to feel like they are seen and, and no one sees them. And so this is a big challenge because when no one sees you, then no one can come and inquire about your products and services. They can't inquire about your products and services. They can't buy anything from you. If they can't buy anything from you, then your business doesn't make money. And that's ultimately what it is, isn't it? Like just the other day, my business partner is a property expert and I had a, an, a, an inquiry about a property. So I went to another one of my friends. I thought, hold on a second, well, why didn't I think of Vince? Because, you know, we've been in lockdown and seen Vince for a, a little while. And I just, it's the first person that comes to mind. When you're there, it only takes one relationship and it only takes one deal and one opportunity for you to change the whole course of your business. Like every little meeting that you have, every every single opportunity that comes on, it kind of like it kicks you into a different direction. For a lot of you who may be watching this, you may have attended one of my training programs, you may have read one of my books, and you know, you're thinking, John, how can I apply this to my business? And it's simply just letting people know what you do. And more important, letting people know how you can help them. And letting people not only know how you can help them, but letting people know how you can serve and solve their problem. If you can do these three things in business, I promise you, you'll be able to have a very, very successful business. And I can tell you, for most people right now, they just don't know how to do it. And if you don't know what to do, just start. <laughs> I know that sounds counterintuitive, but doing some things better than doing nothing. How many times have you wanted to do something, you get distracted and you don't get to do it? We, we sometimes we're gonna take these opportunities to just be the best version of us and when we do it. And you know, if Robert Downey Jr. didn't do that film and, and after that film, he's like, oh, you know, this is not so good. It just takes that one ghost follower watching your content and you know that one opportunity of Iron Man started Iron Man 1, Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3, started Avengers, Avengers Endgame, 10 years worth and span off all the different things with the whole Marvel cinematic universe so i just wanted to kind of remind you of some of the things that you know you may be posting things right now and you may be thinking ah oh, no one's really paying attention but trust me there'll be what they'll, they'll come a time and i call this the pop there'll come a time when that one person reaches out and says hey i just saw your post on hey i just saw your video on hey i just saw this on and then everything changes i promise you it's happened so many times in my life i mean there's one time where i put some content out there and someone said hey john you know we and that's that's how i wrote this book i wrote this book business hack and so that sold a lot of copies and people started reading that and then i read about the dragons a way book and then I got invited to do speaking engagements and I got invited to celebrity parties and I started coaching celebrities. And then I started getting invited to speak on stage with Richard Branson and Tony Robbins, some of these big names and then promoters all around the world then wanted to start promoting from one little action that I took. And that's just posting a post on social media, but it had value in it. It was solving someone's problem. And so this is what I want to share with you. So hope you got a lot of value from this. And um, you know, if you haven't done so already, and if, you, if you're watching this for the first time, you've never heard of me before, just go to Google and just type in John Lee Forbes. And I was recently featured in Forbes again with Warren Buffett. So you can type in John Lee Warren Buffett and you can read a little bit about, about my background, but you know, I think you'll find the story quite interesting because I started really not having any knowledge and 
how to do any of this stuff. But yeah, I was able to, you know, you know create some very successful businesses by just using some very simple, simple fundamentals, like some of the things I'm telling you right now. So, and, and, and just, just an aside, people think that you need some complicated strategy. You don't, you just need to have a specific strategy. I just know exactly what to do, when to do it and consistently do it. And if you can do that, everything will change. So I really hope that you enjoyed this and it's John Lee, the author of Business Hack. Look forward to seeing you next session.